And welcome back to Subculture After Dark. Well, we know that you love your new Aussie music, and we've got something very special in just a moment. We're going to play From the Inside, the brand new track from Vilify. But we thought, hey, let's get to know this track a little bit more. Let's actually get Amy from Vilify on the phone to chat all about it. Welcome to the show, Amy. Thank you for having me. How are you? I am really, really well. Now, no problem having you on the show. We know that our listeners are going to love this track. So I was wondering if you could tell us a little bit about this track and how it came into being. Uh, so the track itself, like the physical uh, recording, it was it was an interesting song for us. It was kind of more... It started with uh, me kind of writing some stuff. I had some lyrics I wanted to get out because normally we do music first, but I had some lyrics, some vocal ideas I wanted to get out. Um, came back to the team with them and they absolutely soared with them and went ham, which is great. Uh, recorded it with Chris Blancato again, who's done the last couple of singles. He's like almost a full-fledged member now. So it just it came out really easy. This one was just so quick. Um, but yeah, it started with lyrics, started with vocals, this one, which was a bit of a change for us. So I think that's why they're so, it's possibly a more, vocal and lyric centric song as well which was very different for us and fun definitely and it's about a very very important topic as well tell us a little bit about what it was written about yeah this one was written uh i tried to leave it a little bit ambiguous but direct because i wanted people to be able to take away from it what they what they need uh but it was written about uh internalized homophobia but i realized saying that a lot of people thought it was for myself but it wasn't it was so much it was more seeing it in others and how they project that sort of like self-hate on other people and some of the really hurtful things I've heard people say about their own experience with um, struggling with identity and how when they can see people that are fine with it, I feel like they seem to lash out. Um, But yeah, it was, yeah, it was about that. It was about discovering not necessarily even um, like your sexuality or gender. It kind of ended up being more about anything. So, anything where you're confident in something and someone just tries to tear you down for it, um, even if it's not deliberate. Like, they're just, they're jealousy of your confidence in it and just kind of not eating and not letting that eat into you was kind of what I was going for. Yeah, it's interesting because a lot of times you listen to a track and you find that you relate to it and you, you want to reach out and say, hey, I listened to it and and this track spoke to me or it's something that I've been through. But it almost feels like this track is a track that you want people to listen to and then reflect on how they feel internally. Is that is that kind of right? Yeah, I think without being too direct, it was it, it, it sparked from a, a specific engagement I had with someone, like a like a conversation where I was like, I didn't really like how that felt for me. So I would love the idea that anyone reflects on it, like even how they've treated someone in the past for doing something they possibly didn't like, and or how how like feel connection to the idea of like okay those people were awful to me but it's not just me this happens to other people and kind of get that um kind of sense of belonging from uh ex- knowing that i've experienced too the guys in the band have experienced people not believing in them as well like i just wanted to, yeah people to take from what they could but it was about it pretty direct as well yeah now your band has been known for some brilliant live shows and of course that's kind of captured in the um, video clip for this track. Tell us a little bit about the video clip and, and what went into that. Yeah, we were originally um, not even sure if we were going to do a video for it. We've done a whole bunch of videos. The last one was um, pretty big. And we, like I said, this song came together so quick. We just kind of wanted something um, sooner, quicker, a bit like vibey and about us because this song's so about a personal topic. So we had our friend, uh, Corey Nathan of CN Media. We had him at a couple of shows. We just kind of planned that we might one day need the footage. So we got him and the beautiful Lachlan Waite did some additional footage as well. They um, they just came and took footage of two shows. I think it was only two shows. I think it was the Void Division show on the Central Coast and the North Lane show in Newcastle. Um, and they just came to film it all. And when this song came out so high energy and so bouncy, and that's what we would love people to know us for, um, that it's a high energy show. We we're like, oh, this is perfect. Let's th- this this one has to be the live one. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we were like, let's take our turn. I remember growing up seeing like every third video for any hardcore metalcore band was a live video. So I was like, yeah, I want one. Let's do it. So <laughs> that's kind of how it came to be. And Corey edited it and he brought it to life, which is very very sweet and very very um, very very good. So we we're very excited by it. 
you've got to share the stage with some brilliant bands. You just mentioned North Lane there and Void of Vision, but you've also played recently with Bellhaven, Alpha Wolf. What's that been yeah. like, sharing the stage with those amazing bands? Well, like, uh, so a couple of us have been in bands in the past. So some of them, it, it, it's interesting and kind of nerve-wracking because we've played alongside them in other formats. Uh, so playing in this one, for me personally, I've gone from being sort of a bass player play, playing in a in a band to now having to show if I've got what it takes to be a front person to them. So so it's this like extra like they're going to be honest with me with some of them. So we've, I've known the Bellhaven guys for, for years. So it was interesting having their their input on the live show given that they've known us for so long. So yeah. they they said not, they said really kind things, but some of the big ones like. Playing with Era was one of the scariest things of my life. Like, yeah, it, it was. Yeah, it was a big show at Crowbar, and I just I felt like I was so out of fish out of water. Like I wasn't ready for it. But yeah, every time I just we just we get up and we we whatever audience is there, no, no matter if it's ten people or seven hundred people, um, I think we always try to approach it the same. So for me, it doesn't really matter who I'm playing with. Uh, it's more about people watching. So. I'll try and play as though I'm playing to a thousand people when I'm playing to a couple of people and I hope that everyone feels as special as those 2,000, 3,000 people shows every time. Awesome. Well, a lot yeah. of people are probably asking now as well, this brand new single, From the Inside, is it part of something bigger? Can we expect an EP from you guys soon or another album? What's in the works coming out? Yeah, we're, we've got the means to do it. We're just not sure. We're... we're we have a bunch of stuff written, but I think we're thinking singles just for now, being fully honest and open. We're thinking singles. We just want to make a more cohesive, larger body of work yeah. where these are all just like torn out bits of a diary and we're still trying to find our sound from the first EP we did and we're finally so happy with how it's all sounding that um, we, we don't want to do a, a larger piece that is finding our feet. We want the larger piece to be so fully reflective of what we wanted it to sound like so we're we're still finding our way a little bit but we think we're so close so it might be this did feel like the first sort of uh sort of like lightning bolt moment where we're like maybe this is it so the way we've been working with chris does leave it that it could be part of a larger body of work but at the moment no set plan yeah and what about shows have you got some shows planned for the rest of this year as well We've got a couple of little bits here and there. We've got a couple at home, uh, a couple... I don't think any of them I can talk about yet, except we're doing the... I think it's called Aftermath Festival in Sydney um, with a bunch of cool metal bands at Crowbar. I'm going to be... I'm going to feel awful for forgetting the date, but you can find it on uh, Instagram and the first early bird tickets already sold out, so yeah. definitely jump on the second lot. Um, but I know that's booked and announced, but there's a couple of other things coming up that aren't quite announced yet, but you'll see us in some more regional places, which is very exciting for me coming from um, Newcastle that when I was growing up in music was counted as regional, but probably isn't now. Um, so a couple more regional places, a couple more sort of city places before the year's out, but our big goal is, yeah, possibly that larger body of work. So that's why there's a little bit of a question mark next to it because we're going to try our hardest to get you something soon. Well, we certainly can't wait to hear what's going to happen there, but right now on our show we are going to play From the Inside Amy, is there anything you'd like to say to people out there before they take a listen to this amazing track? Like I've said a million times, just be you, be confidently and unapologetically you. Uh, anyone that doesn't like that can just get out of the bloody road. 